Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday and I've not yet left the apartment so I thought it'd be a very fun video idea to bring you through what I spend in New York City as a 24 year old. Hello there. Come with me to see how much I spend in New York City as a 24 year old this week. I'll take you through Monday to Sunday on my spending. Let's see how much I spend here in New York City. Kind of scared, but let's go. We start today. Okay, it's 20 to 7 on Monday and I'm about to go to a last minute concert. We're going to have to Uber there, so I'll put the price on the screen when I get in the Uber. light cream cheese and tomato. Thank you. I am so hungry so I just went to the shop to get the bagel before I go to bed. <laughs> Starving. We've got the goods. Perfect end to a night. It's only 10 p.m. So the bagel total was $5.20. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm just gonna get into my pajamas, curl up in bed and devour every last bit of it. I am so hungry. <laughs> Light cream cheese and tomato. It works so well. Five dollars twenty of pure happiness right now. Good afternoon. So today is Tuesday. Just left the house there, and I'm about to head to Sephora because there's this gel pomade that I want to get. So I was with the girls the other day, and one of the girls had it in her hair, and it looked so nice. I don't know if that's probably really loud, but her hair was so slicked back and so nice. So I was like, I need to get that. So that's what I'm doing today, and that is going to be my first purchase of my Tuesday this week. looking at Sephora, no sign of that product whatsoever. So I'm gonna head to another Sephora now and fingers crossed we'll be lucky there. Okay, that Sephora didn't have it either. I don't think it's meant to be today. So when I go home, I'm just gonna buy it online. But I just stopped by for a walk through Bryant Park because the ice rink is up and it just looks so cool. Okay, I'm walking home and I'm quite hungry right now, so I'm gonna go grab some Mexican because I have to get straight into work and I get home and I won't have time to cook. Can I please get the cauliflower bowl? A bowl, sorry, a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my lunch. So today's lunch was a total of $13.05. And then we get stuck into this because I am starving. Okay, it's my first time having food from this place, Nea, but it is so good. It's basically a healthier version of Mexican food, but it is so tasty. It's just gonna work for the evening and that's probably all I'm gonna spend today. I'm actually gonna buy that um, hair pomade later. I just need to get this work done first. Um, but I'll update you at the end of the day on how much more I spend today. Okay, I just bought the hair pomade there and the total was $35.88. I also think it's gonna be really small. So that's extremely expensive for hair pomade. So I hope it's good. But from the reference I saw on one of the girls, 
this week, it definitely does do its job. So that's another 35.88 to add to today's total. Good morning, it's Wednesday and a little midweek treat. We're gonna go out for breakfast this morning. So that's gonna be my first spend of the day. The pancakes also and the coffee in the place we're about to go to is like our unreal. So let's go. So I got my favorite pancakes. These are honestly the best things ever. And then Sam got veggie mite on toast, being the true Australian that he is. But like, I can't even describe how unbelievable these are. I'm more of a savory person, not a sweet person, but these make me a sweet person. That's how good they are. Look at me sometimes, like all you want. I just stopped by Central Park for a morning walk this morning, but look at how pretty it is. It's also quite quiet for this time of the morning. It's just gone half nine, but like, it is amazing. Like, look at the way that the light is hitting over here. Just, I can't even explain it. It's so pretty. Look at that. It is so stunning here this morning. I tripped and fell into H&M. So let's see what damage I do. <laughs> to be fair though, I do need to get a new winter coat, so that's the reason I'm in here. But I am seeing other things that I like, so could be, could be potentially a big spend today. I don't know, let's see. First off, loving these flared pants, so I'm gonna try them on and see if they suit. We did a wee bit of damage in H&M there. Bought a small bit more than I anticipated to buy. Oh well, treat yourself, eh? Okay, let's do a little H&M haul of everything I bought. Now, I went in with the intention of just buying a winter coat, but there was a few nice bits in there, so I just had to pick them up. So let's go through it. Okay, so the first thing I got was this really nice blouse. Now, I'm not much of a blouse girly, but I'm trying to change my style a small bit here and just have things in my wardrobe for different events if I need them. Now, personally, I wouldn't wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, but I could be changed, but I just thought it's a good thing to have in my wardrobe again if there's events or if I have to go to like meetings or anything, it's just handy to have. So, really cute blouse. It does need to be ironed, but that is the first purchase. Then, second thing was this white top. I have something similar that I got a few years ago in Bershka and I haven't found anything since. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a V cut out here. And it's just, this neckline is really flattering on my body shape. So when I saw that, I was like, that's going straight in my basket. And then the third thing, I've gotten so into flares. I'm currently wearing flares. I did not know my legs go that high. <laughs> Anyways, but I'm currently wearing black flares. So I just picked up another pair of them. And do you know what these remind me of? They remind me of back in the day when Hollister was such a massive thing. Do you remember the Hollister yoga pants that like folded down? I think they're coming back in fashion, which is crazy to me because 13 year old Amy had too many pairs of those yoga pants. So yeah, this is the third thing I got. These are just a staple in your wardrobe to have. And last but not least, the thing I actually went in for. Now it's not proper winter jacket, but it's still like you can still wear it nowadays if that makes sense and I think it would style up an outfit really well so I got this jacket and I really like it so it has like a kind of plunge neckline I'll actually try it on so I can show you but I really like the length and everything about it and like you can wear it casually with like new balance shoes but then you could also wear it with heels so it's like it's very versatile so I'm just gonna buy it so I bought it but I really like it and I love grey colours do you get the vibe like it can be smart but you can also make it casual. Let me show you in the mirror what I mean. So right now I'm wearing my new balances. And do you get what I mean? Like this could be flared, nice Zara top underneath, really casual. When it gets colder, pair it with like a scarf. But then you can also dress it up for a night out with heels. 
I don't, I think this is the best purchase of the day. Like even looking at it now, I love the color. Like love the color. Okay, this is my favorite thing I bought today. I'm so excited about it. But yeah, that is my little H&M haul. <laughs> and the total. Oh, I just went for a morning walk this morning. I did not mean to go shopping, but the total of that was a $119.66. Now, I wouldn't shop every week, so we can take that with a pinch of salt, but that is the price of my retail therapy this week so far. Trader Joe's done for the week and now I'm gonna head to Dwayne Reed because I use Rice Krispie Squares bars as my pre-workout snack and nowhere else has them in the city so that's next on the list. I got the last box. Delighted with myself. I just went into 7-Eleven to buy one thing and I just spent $23.71 on snacks. And I'm not really mad about it to be honest because they're going to be delicious. Let the IKEA fun begin. So I went to the shop and picked up some Corona alcohol free, of course. And I was giving my ID to the lady. She asked her and she's like, oh, that's such a pretty picture. And I was like, that's so cute. Thank you. Um, I'm still getting ID'd and I'm almost 25. So I'll take it as a, as a compliment. Um, yeah, I haven't really spent much today. Just this. And then obviously the IKEA delivery arrived, which I'm sure I would have put on screen beforehand anyways. But this is my only purchase of Friday. We have spent the whole morning spring cleaning the whole apartment. So this is going to be my first spend today. We are going cycling to go to a my protein pop-up event. So yeah, I'll put the price fit on the screen when we're done. Thank you. Two yummy lunches. I cannot feel my hands. My hands are so cold I can't open them. Oh. There we go. This looks so good. I've never had this before. It's kind of like a breathable place, like healthier. I'm excited. Oh, that's so good. Hi, can I just get one banana pudding, please? Thank you. Uh, I'll have medium or large? Medium, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, we've just been walking around for the past couple of hours, and this is my first purchase today. This is like a really famous banana pudding from Magnolia Bakery. Very excited to try it, but this is my first purchase of Sunday. When I say I've been meaning to try this for about a year, I'm very excited right now. Oh my God, sorry, look at this. The texture. Looks like cake. Okay. Oh my God, I can tell why. Oh, that's so good. 
I can tell why that's um why that's famous. Oh my god, brother. It's pretty good. Okay, that is unbelievable. So there we have it. That is what I spend in a week in New York City. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the costs and then also add in things like my rent and then monthly subscriptions, for example. Now, one thing I want to preface, I was, <laughs> I actually had a note on my phone to say when I was making this video that I save a lot of money at home in terms of making my own coffee. And I'd love for that to be true, but it kind of isn't. So I do make a lot of coffee at home, but I do buy a few out. So I suppose it does save me a small bit, but not a lot. So to get into the subscription side of things, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list out my monthly subscriptions and then at the end, I'm gonna divide them all by four and then add them to the total from the video from that um, week of spending in New York. The first thing that I have as a monthly subscription is my gym membership and that is $200 per month. Then my rent is $1,000 per month. Now, this is unheard of for New York City. I do share rooms, so that is why that is a lot cheaper. And then next I have my SIM card, which works out as $30 per month. The next subscription I have is my Spotify, which is $10.99 per month. iCloud and Google Photos is $20.49 per month. CapCut, which is an editing app that I use for my content, is $110 per year. I'll work that out monthly when I'm at the end. Then I have a Captions app, which is $65 per year, which works out as $5.41 per month. Canva, which is the graphic design software I use for content, is $11.99 per month. And then I have Apple Care, which is $11.20 per month. Now, I probably have more subscriptions. They were just the ones that I could remember. I literally was racking my brain all day today trying to figure out the rest of my subscriptions, but they're the ones that I have. I also want to preface this that I haven't included any business subscriptions in, except for the content creation ones. So I have a lot of monthly subscriptions on services I use and apps I use for my online coaching service, Active with Amy. But like I said, I'm just going to include the content creation ones for the purpose of this video because I would be using them to create this video. So the total spend for my whole week in New York City, as you saw for me going through Monday to Sunday in the videos, was $512.03. And then the subscriptions monthly charges, including my rent, is $1,459.67. So that divided by four is $364.92. So the total that I spend Take with a pinch of salt because not every week is going to be the same. The total I spend in New York City per week as a 24 year old is $876.95. Yeah. So there you have it. New York is not the cheapest city to live in um, and that is absolutely proven by that but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Lots more New York City, lots more content coming. I'm actually going traveling soon to Asia so I'm going to imagine that I'll have content on that as well but anyways thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it was fun, I hope it was enjoyable and yeah I think I'm a little bit shocked on the amount of money I spent here because I never actually would add up my expenses usually but obviously for the sake of this video I had to so maybe I should be a little bit more careful but that's a discussion for the next day. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.